Humor breaks down that resistance, especially when you can laugh at yourself, poke fun at yourself. I was out at a mall a few weeks ago. I was looking around thinking, thinking to myself, boy, where were all these beautiful young women when I went to school, huh? <laughs> then it hit me. Daycare. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, that laser guy surgery thing. <laughs> That should not be done in the back of a pickup truck. I don't care if you do have a coupon, man. What is wrong with you? You don't talk to people in the bathroom. Mommy does. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have stress in your life. Some of you got both hands. <laughs> Most people are paired up great. Face your partner. Oh, and do me a favor, just quickly between yourselves, just decide who's going to be A and who's going to be B. I right, now, do you want to know something about personality types? The type A personality just told the other person what they're going to be. <laughs> Two people, neither one of them would give, most likely on the same team trying to work together. Those egos get in the way and things escalate way beyond the point that they should. I am Jeff Justice, your Humor Resources Director, and I transform meeting attendees by showing them how to use their sense of humor to dissolve workplace stress. The stress is actually something that we need in our lives. I don't know about you, but I need the stress of a deadline to get a project done. Now, nah, stress, stress isn't a problem. Distress, that's the problem. Number one sign of burnout is taking yourself seriously. Number one, without a doubt, nothing else is even close. One, two, three. I guess it was as good for you as it was for me. <laughs> no one's actually ever made that sound when I've done that before, so. <laughs> you simply can't get what I have to offer anywhere else. I mean, there are a few other speakers that talk about how integral humor is to the workplace in releasing stress, diffusing anger, and bettering relationships. The big difference between me and the rest of that pack as my 14 years as a clean stand-up comedian gives me the unique ability to get that message across using humor. Lots and lots of humor. And if they're laughing, they're listening. And bonding and learning. Isn't that what you want? I just want you to notice how you feel right now. You've been laughing pretty hard for a while. And you feel better and there's reasons for it. Laughter puts more oxygen into your bloodstream, means more uh, oxygen gets to your brain, you're going to be more creative. It gets your brain to release an endorphin-like effect 100 times more powerful than morphine. For those of you that go to health spas, I say, hey, drop the membership. Go to a comedy club two or three nights a week. <laughs> Think about it, this way you can get in shape, smoke and drink at the same time. <laughs> no, no, no. Now please, don't put off this important decision to help your people, to help themselves and your organization. Let me get started designing a program that will wow your audience, exceed your expectations, and bolster your bottom line. Keeping it simple, make work and life fun. Quantum team work to get the job done. You know, it's been said that people don't remember a lot about what you say, but they remember how you made them feel. I will make your attendees feel great about my programs, themselves, and you for bringing me to them. Please call the number you see on the outside of this video, and let's get started making this your best meeting ever.